I'm gonna do a little test of how to press in a bearing. It's just a press in bearing, standard front wheel drive. Nothing special about it. First couple things you need to take into consideration. You need to clean your snap ring groove before. Uh, before you put the bearing in, before you press the bearing in, um, you need to make sure that's clean. Another thing you need to make sure is on your bearing, if you have a tone ring, this is just a seal. Some vehicles will have a tone ring on one side. You need to make sure that side is facing where your wheel speed sensor is. Typically, it's facing um, on the back or like towards the axle. This vehicle is a Hyundai Elantra that reads the tone ring off of the uh, off of the axle itself. So this doesn't have a tone ring on it. This is just a seal. Uh, so it doesn't matter which way you put it in. So just gonna. I did put a little bit of grease in there. Try to ease insulation. Get a nice pressing tool that's about the same diameter as the bearing. Um, you can also use the old bearing, use the old one, you can, you know, use that as well. I just, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, I'm not going to in this instance. And then, it doesn't really matter how you stack them, as long as it goes in straight, that's all that really matters. that's wiggling a lot which you have it attached to the press so bottomed out. So release it, pull these out. You can see it's pressed all the way in. Uh, my snap ring groove is right here where all that all the grease is smudged down inside of it. Uh, but my snap ring groove is there and on the other side you can see it's you know fully seated. Um, so another thing you're gonna have to keep in mind here in a minute I'm gonna go get the hub but the hub presses in from this side, so if your snap ring is here on this side, make sure you put your snap ring in before you press the hub in. What the fuck are you looking at? Get out of here. I'm recording a video. Yes, man. So just make sure you do that. I'm going to go get the hub real quick. All right, so this is very important. When you go to press the hub in, you need to make sure that you have something on this side holding the bearing together. Um, if you just press it in, it'll split the bearing. You know, you're up shit creek. You gotta fucking replace it again. So don't do that. Um, and again, if you're going in this way, and your snap ring is not in here, you will have to do it again. You will need another bearing. What's up, What's up dog? Coming to learn? Hey, how you doing? You beat it in with a fucking hammer. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so right there we're pretty centered. <clears throat> it's not by any means the perfect way to do it, but it's the way I've always done it. So, and it's always worked. Alright. I'll just take this and Take up a little bit of that extra space. God damn you. Damn you. Sometimes I'll actually tap that in like one time with a mallet just to get it started. Just gotta hold everything straight. Yeah, I know. I'm 
freaking idiot. That's it. It's installed. Bearings in. It's all the way installed. Um, this will flatten out once you go to draw the axle into the knuckle. This will flatten out once you torque it down and everything. Um, and then again, put your snap ring back in and put it back on the vehicle. That's pretty much it.